Hey, what's going on fellow explorers? Silver Wolves here outside the den. I am back at Burkhead Mountain Wilderness. It is January 15th, Martin Luther King's Day. I wanted to do uh, another overnighter. Uh, this time, I'm gonna be going off trail. So that's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna make my own little campsite and then explore this particular location that I found really interesting on Google Earth. It's, uh, when I edit this video, I'll post the um, images that I found. Let me turn this around. Yeah, so I'll go over with, with what new gear I got later on once I find the spot. Um, right now I'm at Campsite 5 along the Burkhead Mountain Trail. Um, I'm going to be heading that way. The Burkhead Mountain Trail goes left to right. I'm going to be jumping on the Camp 3 Trail uh, where I camped out last time. But I'm going to only go so far and when I get down there... I'll show you on the map exactly where I'm going to be jumping off and it's not too far off the trail that I'm going to be scouting out but yeah it's going to be um it's going to get a little chilly tonight it's going to be around 30 so that's not too bad didn't bring my buddy Bo with me let's take a look at so yeah I didn't bring my buddy Bo with me because uh you know the pack is around 40 pounds and it's just just a little bit too much to Keep the dog on a leash, but yeah. So camp camp spot uh, five is, you know, it's right off the trail. I guess it's not too bad. There's not. A, I was checking it out over there before. There's a few flat spots, but um, maybe it'd be like the last resort if you're up here in the spring and summertime and it's pretty busy. Uh, this might be just like one of your only options unless you want to uh, go off trail like I'm doing today. All right, so this is where I depart off the trail. I have a little unnamed creek here. This is the, uh, I guess the uh, jump off point. I'm gonna show you here on the map. Let's see. So this is the uh, Burkhead Mountain Trail right here. We were over here at Campsite 5. This is about 900 feet. So I hiked down and now I'm gonna follow this brook all the way to this point right here and in this location is where I'm going to be exploring so I'm going to be setting up camp somewhere in here and then just doing some uh you know exploration looking up um finding some old uh some some old maybe relics of the past like 19 20th century early 20th century 19th century maybe even 18th century also going to be looking for unique rock features and so forth So I'm noticing a lot of quartz around the trunk of the trees. That's a nice piece. Yeah, I guess they were pulled up as the tree grew. That's my uh, theory here. Yeah, Yuari is has a lot of quartz. Still following the stream, it's right down there. Uh, headed to that, that summit point, 750 feet. But yeah, you worry, a lot of quartz. I love it. There's a lot of uh, metaphysics behind, you know, fringe science, a lot of uh, supposedly you know, what's the best word I could put it, uh, spiritual phenomenon around areas with, with high quartz content. I'm sure you guys might have heard about, um, if you're familiar with Iwari, it's, it's known to have a lot of Bigfoot sightings, a lot of Sasquatch sightings. Whew. 
Yeah. I got about 40 pounds again, guys. <laughs> but I have a better backpack, much better backpack. Hmm. But it's still, 40 pounds is still a lot. I can't wait till spring. Lighten this load up a little bit. I did bring a lot of nice little knickknacks to keep myself busy. That's an interesting tree up ahead. I believe, you know, it's uh, hunting season's over right now. Deer season, that is. There's still small game hunting going on. Still got the creek down there. I also do have a, a GPS. You said signal. Cell signal is very low. So if I ever lose my cell signal, I'll just throw on my GPS. I'm trying to save the batteries. I don't have to use it if I don't I don't want to use it if I don't have to. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of um, a lot of big, Bigfoot explorers that come out to this place. I've heard kind of humorous that they even the local Bigfoot Sasquatch Club they meet at El Dorado Outpost. And they don't take too kindly to outsiders, outside Bigfoot researchers. That's what I've heard. It's kind of silly. I guess they want to be the first to discover. But that's, you know, we'll see. Can't see this on the camera, but I'm always suspicious when I see mounds. Hopefully, someone from the past was buried there, who knows? Yeah, I'm kind of seeing, it could be deer trails. I'm, I'm kind of seeing somewhat of a trail. The hunters, like I said before, I got a little distracted. But the hunters, uh, I'm sure they, they're the ones that go off trail here. Many campers stay on the trail. So, oh, got the camera stuff on a little twig there. You're not going to be able to do this in the spring. This is the time of year to do this. You don't have to worry about uh, timber rattlers. Uh, ticks. So, yeah, let me check my GPS and I'll be back. Man, that's a big tree that fell. Wow. Yeah, that just snapped right at the bottom. Ooh, it's an old tree. Took out that piece right there too. Made it to the summit. Site A. Does not disappoint. I was hoping there is some interesting rocks here on the top. But we're going to be getting a lot more film later on. I want to get this backpack off. Ooh, there's a really interesting tree. We'll definitely check that out.
Okay, so I got the tent all set up. Went with blue so I don't get <laughs> myself lost if I decide to wander. It's easy to spot. And I built a nice little fireplace. I'm not messing around, man. Don't come out here not to have a fire. Also got these uh, little fire starters here. These work great. And I'm going to show you this little toy I brought along with me. Trail cam. That's right. I'm thinking about setting it up over there. But yeah, I don't know if you guys seen my last uh, Burkhead Mountain video. But at around 4.30 in the morning, my tent was hit with a flashlight. And at all different angles. I don't think the whoever it was didn't get any more than like 20 feet. But it's almost impossible to keep quiet out here with all these dry leaves. But I heard their footsteps and they were just walking around. You know, I understand... I mentioned this in the last video. I understand if you're just um, you're passing through because it wasn't too far from a trail. But, you know, you hit the you hit, hit the tent once. That's it. You, you don't just, you know, continuously light up the tent with <laughs> different angles and so forth. I, but anyway, anyway, that that's water under the bridge. Uh, let's move on to more of the equipment. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be trying out this uh, sleeping, sleeping bag liner. Adds a little bit of extra warmth. It's not going to get, I don't believe, below 30 degrees tonight. My bag is rated for 30 degrees. But, yeah, I um, want to take a take advantage and make sure I'm comfy, comfy as all hell. So, what else? What else? Let's see. What do, what do I got in my box? This is the uh, GPS that I use. The German or Garmin E-Trex 22X. Just in case my cell phone service and yeah this is something I'm going to show you guys a little bit later because I want to start collecting firewood it's a um, power bank and it has uh, solar panels on it this is used to make sure you find the right the best angle to capture the uh, radiation so I'm gonna check that out a little bit later it's fully charged so I don't really need to uh, charge it in the sun but you never know one day I might have to and let me go collect some firewood I'm gonna start to get the and also I want to hike up there a little bit I want to check that tree out that I that I passed on a little bit earlier on my way down to the stream to gather some water I came across just this random rock pile looks uh, fairly well constructed more quartz some more piles of quartz I'm following this uh, this little stream that's hopefully going to lead me down to let me in here. right down to Hannah's uh, North Prong Hannah's Creek then I'll be taking this way back up yeah I think it's right there Beautiful. It looks like a little pool over to the left. Well, that's nice. That's nice right over there.
So feldspar is the most abundant mineral on earth. The second most is quartz. A lot of people usually confuse the two because they do look somewhat similar, but you have to really train your eye to notice. But I do believe these are, this is quartz. Quartz is usually more uh, translucent. Feldspar is more uh, opaque. So following this little stream, this dried up stream, back up to the campsite. But yeah, it is true. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of interesting stones to check out along the way. Finding some more just interesting random stone walls. Just in the middle of nowhere. No trails. Maybe it was kind of like a tear. I, do. I see another one. Yeah, right up, right up there. There's another one. I don't feel like walking up there. Let's uh, see another rock pile up there. I mean, there was settlements in this area back in the 18th. 1800s, 1900s. I don't think they would have been farming up here. It's too rocky. I mean, they definitely uh, cut down all the trees, timber, and so forth. Ooh, what's in there? I'll stick my hand in there. All right, let me uh, find a path. So this is the largest tree I've seen so far since I've been camping. So I am back up at the summit. Man, I really do apologize for all these, uh, the noise that the leaves make, man, when you step on them. So at one point, I might be standing on a mountain that was 2,000 feet high. 20,000, sorry, <laughs> 20,000. Watching my step here, not focusing 100%. But yeah, we're going to be checking out this unique tree. Let's come this way. Yeah, that's just, that's just a funky tree, man. This is a better angle here. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, that's what it's all about when you go off trail. You get to find unique things like this. You don't normally see sticking to the trails. I thought I saw something shining down there. Yeah, it was nothing. I believe it was some white shiny mushrooms on a dead tree that was lying on the ground. So.
can't remember the name of this particular trail cam. I picked it up the other day at Walmart, $75. Pretty simple to operate. I'm gonna hang it up on this tree straight ahead and uh, I'll turn it on when I go to bed and see if we capture any humans or cryptids. I want to take this opportunity and show you what this particular device does. If you can see that little shadow dot. So you line this up. And that's the angle of the sun. Now this is the uh, power pack I was telling you about before that I have. The power bank. Solar panel. So what you would do is this is, also, this is actually designed for a larger panel. But you could use it on this as well. This is a cheap Amazon power pack I got a little while back. Yeah, I'm not sure if we could see that shadow quite well. But yeah, when the sun is nice and bright, you find the right angle and you, you optimize the uh, charge, the radiation that's hitting these panels. A lot of people in the description were, was complaining about how it took like several days to charge, but I don't believe they never mentioned that they were angling the panels correctly so that does help um haven't <laughs> really tried it yet but um it's been pretty cloudy today so i probably won't get the opportunity to do that the sun's going in and out plus it's starting to get cold and i want to start getting the fire going and um pick out my meal and yeah let me, i'm gonna show you li little uh using ramen noodles i didn't i didn't do the ramen bomb but i did something similar so we'll check that out a little bit later All right, so I put together some pre-made meals, you know, the old, the old ramen, and made, made two, two separate packages. So here we have, um, I'll just use some carrots and some chicken, and, oh, don't want to spill that, and some baby spinach, some rye bread to dip in to the soup. And just another, just uh, same thing for the morning, or maybe if I get a little hungry later on, I'll have two meals tonight. And the old Pat Thai Mountain House. Yep. Trying to get away from these. They're okay. Usually you get a lot. It, it really fills you up well. But with these, um, I've, I've always have found the taste to be bland. So there's, there is a... Uh, there is a solution to that, and that is bring your own salt and pepper at it. So I might have this in the morning. Let's see what else we've got in here? Just got a few Snicker bars, and I'm uh, no alcohol. I'm just drinking hot tea and water, and that's it. So I've got the uh, electrolytes here. Some some more power bars. So that's going to be hanging this up, probably about 200 feet that way. Uh, you know, it's not your typical. It's. it's got, we're just going to hope it's going to do. <laughs> I just hope no animals get to it. Why I'm sleeping in the middle of the night? And uh, yeah, let me let me get this all fired up and put the fire on once the sun goes down. Should have added more water. Man, am I exhausted. So glad I brought this chair. Three and a half to four pounds. I was hesitant at first, trying to lighten the load a little bit, but I'm glad I did. Being able to sit back, relax, and enjoy the sunset. It's going to be going down probably within the next half hour. Just holding off, making a fire until then. Heard some coyotes in the distance. Try not to freak out a little bit. But yeah, let's have a have a little campfire story later on. Let the fire burn 
and then after that we'll call it a night all right so scary story time not sure if i should be doing this sitting in the middle of nowhere in the yuari national forest so this is going to be a bigfoot bigfoot related it took place it does take place in north carolina in the pisca national forest area this is a you know supposedly allegedly true but scary story so we're going to use the name kevin just so we can relate better to the fellow involved in this this story so he worked at a pizzeria he was getting off of work and you know if you ever worked at a pizzeria before you uh you're allowed to take home some but some leftovers so he was all excited about that um on his way home you know thinking about cracking a nice beer watching the latest episode of mysteries of oak island so as he's driving down these these mountain twisty roads he sees this figure on the right hand side of the road kind of like in the gully area and he's thinking it's a black bear you know black bears are very common in this part of north carolina so he slows down he wants to get a better look at it maybe even take a photograph but as he gets closer he's realizing that you know this this doesn't necessarily look like a bear it's it's kind of like he he could see if he could see the form and it looks like this thing is on one knee kind of slouched down looking at something on the ground so he pulls up he kind of he, he comes to a stop and he's he's looking out the passenger window and by the way um little detail which is relevant he uh, drives an F-150, lifted, big tires, so the thing sits pretty high off the ground. So, as he's looking at this thing, it actually stands up on two feet and jumps out of the gully and starts walking towards his car. And as it got closer, all he could see was his navel area. And, he insane, and, and, and now he's get, he, he, Kevin goes into a complete panic mode. He almost... Uh, frozen with fear so he's just he's just staring at this thing he he doesn't know what to do and as it got closer to his car all he could see was its navel area and he's saying to himself oh my god if this is all i could see my and, and my truck is like pretty far off the ground this thing must be at least eight or nine feet tall and it and all of a sudden it gave out this this big huff and it, and it was smelling the air and at that point, he realized, okay, this is, this is Bigfoot. This is Sasquatch. I, 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 oh, my God. So at this point, he, he finally wakes up, so to speak, and, and starts to accelerate. Now, he can't go too fast because these are windy roads. And he's, he's driving off. He looks in the rearview mirror, and he sees this thing crouch down and then to start sprint at, after his car. And he said he, it was keeping up with his car. It was actually catching up. So he floored it. He decided, you know what, I'm going to risk my life and just zoom down these roads. So he finally, he, he, get, he, he gained some distance. And he just still in awestruck of, of, of what just happened. So he, he gets home, grabs his pizza, runs out of the truck, and runs into the house. Locks the door. And for the next couple of hours, he's just like, just, just like you, you can't even imagine if this ever happened to you like what would you feel just completely just flabbergasted so he's just looking out his windows the back the front of the house for, for the next couple of hours so whether this story is true or not i don't know i thought it was pretty interesting it was fun to listen to and i'm saying to myself he probably smelled the pizza the Bigfoot probably smelled the pizza, and he probably should have threw it out the window and gave it to him, and then took off. He would have been fine. It probably wouldn't have chased him. So yeah, that's uh, again. I probably should be telling myself this. You know, I'm looking over my shoulder right now. Haven't heard any unusual noises yet tonight. Thank God. You know, a couple coyotes yapping in the distance, a few gunshots in the distance. But uh, so far so good. Um, Got a few more logs on the fire. Got a few more logs left to put onto the fire, and um, yeah, maybe uh, you know once once this once I use up all the logs, I'm gonna turn on the um, trail cam 
I'll show you guys how I do that and then uh, we'll call it a night and see you tomorrow morning. Right, let's, let's turn this trail cam on. It's set to photos. Oh no, it's set to video. Let me turn that. I think I got that right. Alright, it might be taking pictures of me right now. Hopefully this is, uh, I set this correctly. Okay. Alright, so when I think, when you see it blink like that, it's actually taking a shot so let me get out of here can anybody tell me what type of stone this is I did hear there's an abundance of rhyolite it's possibly Rylite? I'm not sure. I really appreciate it if you could leave in the comments below. Yeah, a little, little interesting rock outcropping over here. Looks like it goes back down that way. So this is going to be the off-script recap of my camping trip to the Brooklyn Mountain Wilderness area. Um, how to cut the Morning short, it started raining earlier than expected. Packed up, had a two hour trip to the trailhead and it rained on me pretty good. So, had a somewhat of an uneventful night. It, um, I'm pretty thankful for that. Other than I was freezing my butt off. I, I was actually shaking. I believe it might have to do with a wet cold. I used that sleeping bag before in the past in 30 degrees, 30, 25 degrees plus the sleeping bag liner sorry about this fella he wants to be in the spotlight of the camera come on yeah, yeah. I'm, ta I'm talking to the fellow explorers out there give me a moment we'll play don't worry about it all right it's all right all right yeah so um i also want to mention here that i'm no i'm not trying to insult the bigfoot sasquatch community in any way i more power to you i believe in research I'm actually, myself, an investigator of the unusual and, and mysteries of life and so forth. So, yeah, please, you know, if you, if you took offense to anything I've said or if, I, if it sounded like I was making it humorous or whatever, I apologize. But, yeah, keep up the good work, man. I, I really appreciate your efforts in, in trying to unlock some of these uh, mysteries. That takes a lot of guts to come forward and, and, and go public with. So if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. If you like my content and want to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. I do have some more trips planned in the Birkhead Mountain Wilderness, sites B and C. Also, I wanted to share this too really quick. Pine cones make a great fire starter, especially if they're dry. You don't even need anything else. Uh, so I would like to end it here. Thank you for <laughs> stopping by watching these videos. Um, and Silver Wolves out.